What is going on, everybody? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Hopefully this microphone picks up enough audio. Um, this is a late video, considering that this news happened like earlier this morning, but this is the first time I'm home all day, so hopefully all of my loyal subscribers and people who just come to watch my videos appreciate the uh, content anyways. But I wanna talk about Green Bay Packers news and uh, the fact that they released wide receiver Amari Rogers, a 2021 third round pick, and a also they released Kylan Hill, a running back, who was a 2021 seventh round pick. Um, this has been kind of expected for a long time now, and it sucks that he's not even played two complete seasons in the NFL, basically one and a half seasons in the NFL. But Amari Rogers' career with the Green Bay Packers was off to a rough start. Eight career catches with us, I believe, and seven career fumbles. Uh, he wasn't working out as a wide receiver, so they decided to try him as a punt returner and kick returner. That wasn't working, so they moved him to just punt returner. Um, seven fumbles later, and, and, and then the fumble against the Dallas Cowboys just kind of that was the final straw for Amari Rodgers. Um, he fumbled the ball on a punt return. The Cowboys recovered and then went on to score. They were up by two touchdowns. Packers came back, tied it, went to overtime, and then they won in overtime. But the the, the point here is that Amari Rodgers is a, a free agent. Um, I believe he'll go to waivers, though. I think... The only way you won't go to waiver wire is if you're a veteran player. So that means like if you're over a four year, if you're past your rookie contract, which is four years, then you won't hit the waiver wires. You automatically become a free agent. So it looks like Amari Rogers, I believe will hit the waiver wire and then teams can put in a claim and wherever these teams are on the waiver wire order, if they put a claim, if the Chicago Bears put in a claim up here at 19 and the Dolphins put in a claim here at 22, the, the, the Bears will get them first because they have a higher claim order or a higher waiver order. I believe that's how it works. So I believe that Amari Rogers is gonna be on the waiver wire. Um, if that's how, anyways. Um, there was a lot of comments about Amari Rogers. Um, head coach Matt LaFleur, was saying that was a tough one. Um, Randall Cobb, longtime Packers receiver, had some comments on it. I love the kid, he's a great kid. He goes about things the right way. He prepares the right way. He put in the extra work, but this is a production-based business. Um, so that's what Randall Cobb had to say, and I believe that's what head coach Matt LaFleur also had to say. He, They both said it's a production-based business. Even though it stung to release him, um, you got to do what you got to do. I also want to talk about the fact that the Green Bay Packers signed free agent wide receiver D.D. Westbrook. Westbrook, I believe, was a first round pick in 2017 with the Jaguars. Didn't pan out there. He spent some time with the Vikings. He was with the, uh, I'm sorry, was he with the Jaguars first? I forget, but he's been kind of around the NFL um, for a while. Uh, just trying to find a home. We have signed him to the practice squad. Hopefully this can be a veteran move that we make. He's 28 years old. Um, it's gonna take him some time to learn the playbook, but then he's gonna probably, hopefully get promoted to the active roster. We just truly need some help at wide receiver. I like the move. I like adding D.D. Westbrook. I believe it's a good move. Uh, we also re-signed Patrick Taylor running back to our active roster. He may have been on the practice squad, but he's gonna be taking Kylan Hill's spot on the active roster right now. So I want you guys to tell me your thoughts down below on this Imari Rogers news. Hopefully this is still trending. I don't know if it's gonna be, uh, but like I said, I got this news later and uh, got to record later. I just walked in my front door, pressed record, and just gave you guys my thoughts on this Imari Rogers news. Thanks guys. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Stay sweet, see you later.